course today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, basic animation out of a basketball bouncing in and out of the frame in Photoshop. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download this picture of the basketball that I have here and you are going to copy it or duplicate the layer and yes then you are going to hide the background and with the copy you're going to go to this magic wand and use magic wand tool and click on this white part then you're going to click backspace to delete it and you click control D to get rid of those lines that are around it and now the basketball is by itself its own image and my computer is really laggy right now probably because I'm recording it alright now what you're going to do is you're going to move the basketball into your new project and here it is right here and you're going to go to window animation and this thing will pop up you're going to move the basketball over wherever and then you're going to make another one of these frames by clicking that button the duplicate selected frames and then you're going to go to the first one and you're going to move the basketball all the way out of the frame if you can why can't I? there we go I'm going to move it out of the frame, move mine up and over. And with the second one, you're going to take the basketball and you're going to put it wherever you want it to appear for the bounce or wherever you want it. So I'm going to put it right there, not down a little bit, nope, uh, arrow key down. And then I'm going to select both of them. And I'm going to click this little thing right here. And I'm going to add probably um, 15 frames. And it puts it in between. So when I go to my first frame and I click play, it shows the basketball coming in and bouncing. Now I just stop that go to my last frame and I duplicate that and then with the frame that you just duplicated you move the ball to wherever you want it to go up to with your next bounce so say right there and then you select the frame in front of it and you do this again just like before and it will make it like that. So let's see, I have, it was on frame 15 or something. Or it was 17 where it started to bounce again. And I click play. And then it shows it moving up. There we go. Now I click stop. We go to my last frame. Find that one and duplicate it and then with the new one I move it once again alright, all the arrow keys are really slow so I'm just going to move it manually with the cursor and I'm going to put it right here and move it down and to the right a little bit then I'm going to do the same thing again where I select the frame in front of that and I select that and enter and I don't believe I need to check it but I'll do it anyway just to be on the safe side and I'll play it and on your computer it probably won't be as laggy it's just my computer is not very good couple years old and it's slow 
and almost out of uh, memory. So it'll probably be better on yours. So you're going to duplicate the last frame. And you're going to move the basketball up to, say, right there. Then you're going to put in this. OK. All these frames show that it is still bouncing. So I don't need to check it, and I'm not going to, eh, I guess I will. And I'll go to here, and I'll check it. And then I'll stop it, go to the end, duplicate this frame. Take the duplication and move it. This one will go out of the frame. Or, nope, it won't because it'll hit there. And then I click that button again. OK. Frames show that it is moving. And we'll go to, this will be our final time uh, doing that. And we'll duplicate this. And it will finally move up and out. And out. Right. Oh, okay, never mind. Decided not to. And out. Okay, so now we go back to. Oh, crap. And we select this one. And we go right here. And click enter and we go here to sure right here and we play it and it bounces down and bounces out it'll look better once you render it but here's the full showing of it first bounce come back up Going back down, second bounce, and you guys know what's happening. I don't need to narrate it or commentate it, whatever. And it bounces out. So now you're going to go to File, Export. Render video. And I'll wait for that to, uh, to show up. And you're going to name it, um, whatever you want. Basketball animation. And sure, I'll save it in my documents. Um, and here you can see what you want to save it as. I'll save mine as a quick time movie. All frames. I can't really read that because my monitor is screwed up. But I think it'll be fine. Oh, you can change your frame rate to, I don't know, whatever you want it. I'll go with that. And I'll just go to 60. So 60 frames per second. And click render. And it will now render. 
And I'll pause the video here. Or, no, I won't, because it's going decently fast. So just wait for that. And once that renders, you're done. Just to open up wherever you saved it to. You can preview the uh, preview the animation, and you'll be good. Well, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please uh, comment, thumbs up, subscribe for more. And thank you.